unfortunate that I'm recording this on yard work day, but I should be able to noise gate it, so we're okay. I've done, I haven't, I haven't done shit, uh, development wise. To look at that, I don't know. I just wanted to go over what I did do, maybe give myself a little credit, but I told myself that for these by whatever these every second Saturday devlogs, if I didn't do anything, then I have done nothing. So this is the current game I'm working on. Um, Oink ITC. I believe the deadline is March something. March 3rd. Been, it's February 6th and the last commit was last week. And that was expanding upon the readme. Little click up board. Man, my, something off today. Okay. Hello, dude. I'm still recording, right? Okay. Whew. Okay, well, I can't resize the window, apparently. I've recorded some clips. I want to make a bigger devlog because I want the, the devlog to encapsulate making the whole game. So I'm not going to go too into that. I'm not even going to bother moving windows around. But I created a game server, so that's pretty cool. The OITC server. It is in it is in Go, which is kind of fun. If you want to look at this code, uh, you, you can find it at this link. I'm probably not going to put it in the description. Maybe I will. But pretty much it's a TCP connection that opens up and the game from Godot can send information. Um, as we can see on the ClickUp, all I want to do, all I've wanted to do for the last week and a half is to make a player move around, send that location to a server and update another object uh, in the player's game. So just getting the client server connection working. I haven't done that. It's been a week and a half and I really haven't done anything except reading about networking, which is kind of cool. I've been enjoying that way more than I thought I would. What I wanted to do for this 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 month's devlog uh, was Project Flying Pig. And this is me being like I didn't do shit. which you know <laughs> it's not like the newest thing I don't know maybe I'm trying to be accountable maybe I also want to be transparent that this happens uh, if we look at our roadmap we've officially fallen off the roadmap it's official flying pig release was meant to be done by the end of January it's not done and then the mini game OITC code was supposed to be ported over this roadmap was great and I'm going to keep it around it's been very helpful who knows maybe this can still happen but OITC and oink I believe it's doable to work in parallel, but um, it's been, I don't know, just watched too much TV this month. Maybe slept a little bit, you know, in the mornings I get tired, I've been doing a lot of martial arts at night. So that tires me out when I get back in the evening. I don't know, maybe my mind has just been weaker, but uh, we'll keep that, uh, you know, aside. Um, it's kind of cool to see 34 hours on this whole project though. I would like to do more work on this and I still want to do this. I'm refusing to drop it. This is gonna be me 10 minutes just straight rambling about what I haven't done, but I'm already done. I've already told you everything I'm not gonna do or that I haven't done. I'm really glad that this, this worked out. Okay, this is really weird. I don't know why. Okay, whatever. It'll be interesting to have to do client side prediction. Cause again, I still wanna play test this. I have some friends I wanna play this with. You know, I, this game, I keep thinking way into the future, but I would like to, you know, release this on Steam even. I would like to go through that whole process. And even though the game is going to be bad, I would like to iterate on this. It's such a simple concept and it's a very accessible game. Regardless, this is the game. This is the setup. I do have some assets. I even have a sketch of the player design. I just don't know how to give that design a body. Still March 3rd, this, I don't know. I have no idea. Um, my con, do I have a con? I have a contract. I have a contract for March 3rd. We'll see how that goes. Um, <clears throat> Stuff I have done that's related to game development. Oh, the drive isn't even... <clears throat> that's how you... I mean, I went into the office yesterday. I brought my drive with me in case I wanted to work as like a break from work kind of thing. Obviously, I didn't. If we go into Oink ITC, we go into the asset files. <clears throat> uh, there's a simple demo map here. Uh, this wasn't working in Godot, though, for some reason. Um, the ground was just dark, so I'm not... You know, this is, this is my test map. One of our maps on Oinkraft which was made by a player. I started it, uh, this was maybe an hour, hour and a half of work? Mm, an hour, probably. I'm roughly recreating it. I took some screenshots from in-game Minecraft, and then this is how big I think the player is gonna be with the camera on top of its head here. So if I go zero, this is, you know, the perspective of the game, so to speak. Raising levels, there are water elevators, but anyway, I'm just finding stuff to talk about at this point. The most exciting thing was that when Project Flying Pig go and OITC went live, um, that was when I could kind of publicize this and, and make announcements on Discord. But evidently, we haven't seen that happen. The most valuable thing that has been happening so far is just that like, I've been sitting down to, well, clearly not for the last two weeks, but I'll sit down to work on something and then I'll make a task based on what I've done to work. So like right now, I'm just kind of following what I want to do, right? I want to just get a player to send a position to the game and get it back in, to the server and get it back in the game. But I uh, finished, well, not finished, but did this obstacle drop. 
So that's kind of cool. And I feel pretty proud of this ball animation. I got my feedback on it already. The roll here is definitely too fast, as you can see. Um, and then it looks like it hits a wall at the end. So that's what not really doing much looks like. I need to get back to work. <laughs>I'm watching the last, I saw a Deltarune thing, and I'm watching my last video of Undertale. Skipped around, I only watched like five minutes of it. I told myself that I don't want to spend my life practicing calc homework and suffering through the homework. But I do want to spend my life doing, honestly, I don't know. I don't want to spend it watching TV, that's for sure. But I do want to make something. And I do want to leave an impact. And I know that's not going to happen instantly. Totally aware of that. I, the way I think I can do that is through making a game. I don't know why this camera's changing. By making a game. But I don't credit myself enough um, with an originality. I need to make up my own stuff at some point. Um, and really decide what game I want to make. In the meantime, due date might be my best bet, but I'd have to feel my, like, I have to do that for myself. That's not something that's just going to happen. I know that. But no matter how much I think I know that, it doesn't change anything. But there's always going to be the small frogs, the stuff that's easy, the tweeting, the Facebook, the YouTube, whatever. I'll keep making videos, but that might just be my distraction. All right, so I'm just finished editing that four minutes of whatever. And then I threw in that little clip of me from literally five years ago. And I've put that in there because I feel like it's important. I found this like a couple weeks ago. I stumbled across it. But I've been wanting to develop games for, <laughs> for so long. And when I say that I haven't done anything, I haven't put in the time. I showed off my time logging in the Tetris devlog the second tetris devlog and i just haven't put in the time and i just for some reason i want to make that clear because i think it's possible for me to finish this game <clears throat> if i put in the time maybe i won't finish it within the time that i want to put in but that's okay as long as i put in that time i can make an incredible amount of progress uh i don't need these and so i just want to end it off with the fact that my goal is to have march's devlog which will be the second saturday of march be all about OITC and having this this functional released game and I would still like to work on Oink and I know I digressed in this video by looking at like my animation I also looked at a model thing that I made but I cut that out but those things I showed because I I think a I was just really fishing for for giving credit to myself for doing something and I think that's important uh you know I'm trying to get better at it like hey you know I, I did do this and two those things are in service of this this game development game design intention goal I'm gonna need to animate this this pig character thing. Uh, they don't need to move based on the game requirements right now, but I do see myself continuing to work on Oink ITC and releasing on Steam and really polishing it up all the way into July, maybe. I meant what I said, I just wanted to be transparent. I feel so confident that I will do this, that I just, I also want there to be a record that like, this was not easy. And embarrassingly enough, the hardest part has just been sitting down to work and, and, and do this. Um, and I, I have watched too much TV and I, I know where this time is going, where I don't want it to go. Relaxing and taking a break is important. There's a limit. <laughs> There's a limit. So that is all. Uh, thank you for watching. And I, I hope to return to this devlog and look back on it and thinking, you know what? Yeah, it was a low point, but I came back from it. And, then, and that's my goal is, is to come back from this.